Dungeons and taverns have one similar feature, flickering torchlight. In this video we're going to look at a 3D printing and LED project to create a flickering LED wall sconce tile. The result should be compatible with most dungeon tile systems, including warlock tiles. This is a project by Tavernier Gillian Walker, using the LED wall 3D files purchased from Fat Dragon Games. Fat Dragon Games have an interesting selection of Dragon Lock compatible 3D files for sale. There's even some free samples if you want to try before you buy. Gillian printed the LED wall pieces using an Anycubic Mono Resin 3D printer, and for best results the project will need to be printed in clear or transparent resin. She has transparent green, mainly because that was the only colour resin available at the time she bought the printer. If we look at the 3D files, the LED wall is a multi-part print. The purchased files have been bought into Cheetubox to add supports, then transferred to Photon Workshop for slicing. This gets them ready for printing. Then the files are transferred to the printer. Now, we wait. A little longer than a few minutes later. Here's the end result after printing, cleaning and curing. The parts are still on their supports at this stage. It looks a bit strange with the whole thing printed in transparent green resin, but some paint will soon sort that out. The largest part here is the main wall section. The centre section of the wall is hollow. This will accept the battery holder and LED assembly once the parts are all assembled. There's a slot at the bottom of the wall to accept dragon lock clips to join the wall to other tiles. Tile sets like Warlock Dungeon tiles include adapter clips that let you join dragon lock and open lock pieces. The stone wall texture looks fine, with roughly dressed stone blocks and nice well defined joints. The metal sconce fittings and wooden shaft portion of the torch are moulded as part of this piece. This makes it simple and keeps the parts count low. This piece is the top of the wall. This will fit onto the top of the finished wall and cover the wall's internal battery mechanism. Again, some nice stone texture here. This is the torch flame itself. It's moulded as part of the section of the wall behind it. There are a couple of locating pins on this part that keep the top part in place. The torch flame is hollow. This is where the LED light will go inside it to create the flickering light effect. The final piece is the battery holder. This accepts a CR2032 large button style 3 volt battery. Fitting the LED to this part is easy. There are grooves or channels to take the wire connector legs of the LED, and it holds them so the battery terminals make contact when inserted. So those are the 3D printed parts. You'll also need some flickering LEDs. These proved hard to source in Australia, but we ordered some from China and they arrived in a few weeks. 5mm LEDs worked fine here. This is what everything looks like after painting. Parts were undercoated black, being careful to avoid painting the flame portion of the torch piece. A quick dry brush of grey and white brought out the stone texture. Then the flame was painted with Vallejo transparent orange. The flickering LED has been fitted to the battery holder. If we take the battery it fits easily into the holder and the LED lights up. This assembly can then be slid into the main wall piece. The top of the wall and the flame section have been glued together using superglue. This just slides down over the LED and it all holds together. And there it is, the completed 3D printed wall tile with flickering torch on a wall sconce. The nice part is, while it's assembled to other tiles you can still access the battery compartment, so you can save battery life by just inserting the battery and holder when you need it. Fat Dragon's LED wall is a great little product. It creates a fantastic look and feel for your dungeon tiles. The torchlight creates some real atmosphere. The battery compartment is very simple, with no wiring or soldering involved. A single LED has a very low power draw, however you will go through some batteries. It would be nice to run this from a power supply, but that would require a lot more work in electronics. There are some other LED projects in the Fat Dragon product range. Gillian is keen to give these a try as well. If you'd like to see these, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.